Shell has been working on this energy challenge thing for many, many years. But when you talk about it, nobody really understands how big this is or what this looks like. You take a look at, for example, oil use here in the world. Um, if you took all the oil used every day, it's about 87 or 90 million barrels. Remember if you were young or, or if you cut grass or you had a mini bike, you had those little red and yellow gas cans. If you took all of that oil each day, filled up those red and yellow gas cans, they would circle the equator 30 times each day. And so this is a large issue. And so going forward, there's a couple things we know is that energy use is going to increase. We have found all of the easy energy right now. It's becoming increasingly challenging and so it takes more ingenuity in order to, to reach that next gallon of water, next barrel of oil, next BTU of solar energy. We have groups called Pathfinder and Game Changer that are literally what they sound like. If you had an idea for something that would help one of our businesses, you come in, you can get interviewed. We have our chief scientists in a group that, that looks at this. And if it's something we think fits one of our businesses, we'll actually help fund you a little bit. I um, once was invited to give a talk at a conference about innovating in a constrained world. And the hypothesis from the people who created the conference was that uh, constraints are bad. They keep us, you know, we just have to reluctantly accept them and work with them. My experience in innovation is actually quite the opposite. It's that when constraints are put on a system, innovative people then know where to attack the problem. The floating uh, LNG, liquid natural gas, project. It started as uh, somebody was thinking, gee, how can we develop these fields which are so far away from shore that we cannot really build pipeline? And he said, well, why don't we take the plant and we put it on a vessel and just float it? It's a standalone structure which is going to be able to extract the gas, liquefy it, and ship it to the market without having to go and access an onshore base. Liquefied natural gas is nothing more than taking natural gas and chilling it below its liquid point and, and making it into a liquid and then shipping it off in a tanker. But that's a lot of gas to do it economically. Now we don't have to trench in a big pipeline on the seafloor to go somewhere. So a lot less disruption to the environment as well as reduced cost. Um, the, the fact that we can kind of bring all that stuff to the field instead of bringing the gas to the shore it really has the potential to change the game. One of the things that's really critical about when we think about innovation, we think about technology, is it's many ideas and many concepts that come from many sources. Having creativity, having innovation, having people who are able to actually tackle tough, big, complex challenges and help us solve really important problems for people is, uh, I think, the key enabler to the future.